Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, comrades of all kinds, thank you for joining me no matter where you're at across country around this big, beautiful globe, and there it is, folks. <laughs> there it is, less than 10 days after declaring with the People's Party, Dr. Cornell West has decided to at least try something else, to maybe go in a different direction, one might say. Who knows, maybe he's still gonna use the People's Party. We're gonna get into that, okay? I'm gonna read to you what he had to say, I'm gonna read to you some of the responses, and then of course, what we think. What do, what do international socialists actually think we should be doing? <laughs> it's that American burlesque, baby, that American burlesque. So let me read to you what he actually said on June 5th, just to refresh, right? I am running for truth and justice as presidential candidate for the People's Party to reintroduce America to the best of itself, fighting to end poverty, mass incarceration, ending wars, and ecological collapse, guaranteeing housing, health care, education, and living wages for all. Mm. Sounds good, of course. But he got a lot of backlash from American progressives and the pseudo left because he wasn't running in their party or running in the Democratic primary or whatever. So here he is. Nine days later, <laughs> let me read to you what he had to say. In the spirit of a broad united front and coalition strategy, I am pursuing the nomination of the Green Party for President of the United States. Go to cornowest24.com uh, for more information to continue to support this unprecedented effort to empower precious, poor, and working people here and abroad. I thank the volunteers of the People's Party for the initial launch. <laughs> what do you think's going on in the Brana household today? It's just amazing to me. All this is, it's... Robert, Bur look, I'm going to read to you some of the deranged responses because it's never good enough for American progressives. It's never good enough for the pseudo-left. Quite frankly, it's never good enough for the international left. I'm going to keep it real. It's not good enough for us. Okay, not that I'm, I'm not going to hammer, I'm not going to spend a lot of time hammering any of these guys at all. It's just not how we get down. We're going to cover some of it, and then I'm going to tell you what we actually need to do to freaking win. Robert Barat says, rose emoji and blue check mark, of course. Why not include running for the Democratic Party nomination as part of the broad coalition strategy? Why not shut? <laughs> I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it, bro. It's deranged enough, you know. Look at this. Keith M. Judge says you're just trying to split the Democrats' vote, Cornell West, at a point in history when that is most unwise. You've already tarnished your reputation. I won't be party to your subterfuge. Look, I'm gonna respond directly to these as well, okay? Because I'm not gonna let them get away with the drive-by shooting either. Trust me. But Jeff Melton responds, if you'd been alive in 1844, you'd probably have whined about James Bernie splitting the vote. Instead, he was tarnishing the reputation by running against James Polk. <laughs> that is absolutely sensational. Oh, by the way, I almost did a video on just this. Paul Claude says, I certainly hope he pulls the Greens out of their pro-war stance. He is referencing directly to Howie Hawkins. Me and Howie Hawkins are both Marine Corps veterans. Okay. But Howie Hawkins has never got over uh, the militarism or the usage of militarism by the U.S. government. Okay. He, he came out the other day opposing a ceasefire in negotiations in Ukraine. How reactionary, how retrograde, how deranged. How many dead bodies do you need? Seriously, there's a mountain range of dead bodies on both sides and you want more. It's absolutely absurd. He actually tried circulating a petition, okay, to oppose 
cease a ceasefire negotiations just just beyond shameful but look check out the green parties around the world it makes sense because they're all freaking warmongering too i mean the green party in germany is just incredibly right wing in its orientation towards russia and others real tim black says, well said, my brother, uh, Dr. West, the black vote is no longer a hostage. Black people should be voting for socialists. Okay? Everybody should be voting for socialists. There's no, like, there's no um, pass for anybody's color, of course. But I, under, I understand where he's coming from. The people's, the people's idiot says, disavow anything and everything about DeSantis now. Look, Cornell West has said some wild ass shit I guess he maybe he said something nice about DeSantis he was like trying to defend Ronald Reagan back in like 2011 I mean come on dude R Ronald Reagan is the antithesis of socialism okay he is the antithesis of anti-fascism brother Reagan as you called him wouldn't defend and know him but capitalists Wall Street K Street the IMF and the World Bank Now, look, I actually responded to some of these jackals immediately because someone popped up. This is actually, I think, how I found out. Uh, the chaotic leftist, Jackie, with a, a rose emoji, of course, uh, comes up in my feed and it says, there is not a single Green Party elected to a state legislator in the entire U.S., but sure, go ahead and run a vanity campaign for president, LMAO. What are you doing? Could you go run a freaking campaign for school board? Could you go uh, show us how it's done? Show us how it's done. Go for the elections board. Go for city council. Go for freaking something. County commissioner. Other than sitting back and sniping people in the freaking trenches. Because you ain't doing nothing but supporting Team Blue. Which, by the way, I don't care if you vote for the Democratic Party to beat the Republicans. It's It makes sense. I, I understand why people do it. It's absolutely uh it puts me in a state of bliss to watch republicans lose and cry and whine about it i'm sure it does that for a lot of other people but don't hammer people for running in a third party that's not attached to the democratic party because i guarantee if he was running in the working families party or the democratic socialists of america since they're attached to team blue you'd be freaking getting the pom-poms out okay instead i'm getting the popcorn ready to watch people like you cry. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, do they not get the Democratic Party was a third party? Oh, well, it was in the 1820s. That does not help your argument at all. It was harder to get started politically back in the day, obviously. That does not help your argument that, oh, a third party back in the 1820s was able to swoop into power. We can't do it here. There's a freaking revolution every decade and peaceful revolutions with Movimiento al Socialismo and the Bolivarian Revolution down in Venezuela. And yet we can't have a third party because the chaotic leftists on Twitter said so. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. You were lightweight. You were lightweight. <laughs> I mean, the Republican Party, one of the most, the most radical left wing emergence in American history was a third party. And once again, they'll be like, ah, but that wasn't like the 1840s and 1850s. That does not help your argument. If they can do it then under the jack boot of freaking colonialism and settler statism, we can do it now. And I'm not saying you got to vote for a third party. I'm not saying you got to vote at all. I, I just, look, I vote twice a year because it's easy. You vote in the primary, you vote in November, it's easy. Okay, it's, you know, you organize the rest of the year. You know, say, well, I'm going to organize today on election day. And just vote and then move on. Okay, you know, if you got a special election, sometimes you have to vote three times a year. But they'll usually try to align the special election race with one of the other elections. You guys get how that goes. I'm going to read some of the responses here because I, I appreciate, look, people are clobbering her for her take. Straight up. <laughs> Trotsky's Traveler says, the chaotic left is rushing out of the woodwork to defend the Democratic Party. Uh, Militant Movement Socialism says, and your solution is just vote blue. 
We'll pass near a tannin light. <laughs> Matty Rose, uh, Roses is a library social says, still better than voting for Biden, which look, obviously 76 million people at least thought that. Thought that anything but Biden. I mean, they voted for Trump. 76 million people voted for Trump with Biden as the other option. Not looking good for the Democratic Party. <laughs> Uh, Joseph Osha says, Ew, I never took Jackie for a DeSantis monger, but here we are. Vote shaming already before the first vote is cast. <laughs> Eugene Dapp says, Smugly mocking third party voters when her strategy is just vote blue. That ain't it. You ain't helping trans folks that way, pal. <laughs> Christopher Skelly says, This statement further enforces the false notion that there are only two choices. That's what the duopoly, capitalist duopoly, wants and expects. Cairo Cass says, here we go, these leftists who magically hate voting for Biden, but God forbid an actual decent candidate for a third party. Now it's, but they don't have any seat anywhere. STFU with your bitching. Oh, this is great. Yemen Can't Wait says, this is the go along left who will forever be building power in some inscrutable way while they cast votes for warmongering maniacs who drop bombs on innocent brown children in other countries. Good luck with that organizing that challenges absolutely nothing. Oh, God. You're getting just raked down here. Ah, uh, yes. Near and Light over here with the solution to our problem. Just vote blue. These liberals are going to get us all killed. <laughs> Dylan Parsons said, The Green Party is literally required to run a presidential candidate to even have ballot access in many states. You want us to win state legislative seats? We got to run someone for president in many of those states first. You do got to win local races, though. There's no doubt. There's no, there's absolutely no doubt. It can't even be debated. <laughs> this is a funny one, though. Gandalf says, the main obstacle before the Green Party is the Green Party. I kind of agree in some ways. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Slat says, it's just a way to make it easier for DeSantis to win. I noticed that it's mostly men supporting this Cornell West shenanigans. Fairy telling. I mean, what sort of freaking fairy tale are you living in, pal? On what planet do you spend most of your time that this is an effort to get DeSantis elected? This is this is the same make believe they tried to peddle when it came to Ralph Nader. The same folklore they tried to peddle when it comes to Jill Stein. Okay, Hillary can only blame Hillary. She pushed Trump in his primary. Oh, it's going to be easy. It's going to be a two-hand jam on a Fisher Price who? Wow, how'd that work out for you? Now you're freaking getting closer to historical irrelevance. I can't wait. <laughs> Look, I responded immediately. I think I even got some responses to this. Whatever. I says, how exactly have you grown power within the Democratic Party other than the power to continue smashing the downtrodden. I said, Cornell West has every right to run in the Green Party. Nobody is entitled to your vote, and if the Democratic Party wasn't such a gargantuan, gargantuan steaming pile of cow dung, then they'd have no problems monkey stomping the Nazis and Confederates in the GOP. If you can't beat that, you're the problem. You are the problem. You get 40 5% of the vote just on name recognition and you still can't freaking get rid of these guys? <laughs> it's unbelievably p pitiful and pathetic. Look, I, I think I got a response here. Uh, that account is garbage, they say. I think I think so. You know, it's just a mess. Although, like, they, they start, like... Um, Misgendering her for some reason. What's up with that? I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, no, she, Jackie, the the chaotic leftist, is a she. She, her, they, not not he, not him. Okay, there's no need to take. There's no need to go there. All right, we don't we don't misgender people just because they they piss us off. Okay, trans folks at least. You know, you might call Donald Trump a little girl or something. I say he's acting like a little boy. But look, I'm going to leave it at that. What's what's our strategy to win? Organize independent labor unions. Organize independent tenant unions. 
organize independent student unions and do it internationally. That is how you appeal to the broadest sections and deepest layers of humanity, you know, workers, tenants, and students. Okay, we know what it's for, raise for uh, higher wages, lower rent, lower tuition, better student, tenant, and worker benefits, improved living, learning, and working conditions, and then other things, depending on the locale and the region and all that good stuff. And of course, arm and train the left internationally. You've gotta have a freaking edge, pal. This nonsense about uh, not arming up, disarming, absurd. That's like Fed talk. It's, it's uh, the, the text is glowing. Guys, look, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.